वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज दीट मेटर ऑपरेशन दीट मेटल ऑपरेशन ओके सो वॉट इज सीट मेटल ऑपरेशन so the simple definition of the sheet metal working or operation is that the various operations which are carried on the sheet with the use of punch and die combination those are called it as the sheet metal operations or simply sheet metal working now which are the operations that we are going to do or uh, conduct by using this punch and die combination so we are having the punching it is also known as piercing then we are having blanking then we are having deep drawing operation then we are having bending operation then we can have the perforating okay then we can have notching we are having lancing we are having slitting then nibbling and trimming so these are the basic uh, the sheet metal operations that we are uh, generally doing in the uh, punch and die combination work okay so again we are having some shearing operation some shaving operation that we will see okay but if you look at here the this punching blanking okay then perforating notching lancing slitting nibbling trimming these are all what these are actually the sheet metal operations where we are going to have the stresses induced in the material greater than the ultimate tensile strength of the material okay so definitely there is the cutting action is going to happen but if you look at this blanking and the sorry deep drawing operation and the bending operation these are nothing but the the metal forming operations but again for that we are requiring the punch and die combinations that why we have taken this deep drawing and bending uh, in this chapter so let us see these all the operations one by one let us start with this punching and piercing so dear students you know very well what is punching so if in the sheet metal working operation let us start with the punching or piercing so what is the definition if in the sheet metal working operation if the produced the hole is used full one then it is known as the punching or piercing operation okay so how we are going to use this punch and die combination say this is our punch that is a male part and say this is the die you can see here the angular increase here into the die it is showing us the clearance angular clearance 
okay so every time we are not going to have this complete diagram just this is the die block in that we are having this die okay so and the sheet we are going to put here on this die and we are going to apply the force by this punch this is the punch this is our stock or sheet and this is the die okay so by using this punch and die combination what we are going to do if the hole is going to produce into a given sheet so what this is the sheet i am showing here in that sheet i want to produce a hole which will be there along with this sheet so here this is the punch will come and it is kept on the die say okay so if the hole produced into this sheet is useful one it is known as the punching operation please remember we are interested in this hole that is produced along with the sheet okay at the same time what will happen the slug is going to come out isn't it or uh, the disc is going to come out okay so we are not interested in this uh, sheet that is scrap for us okay we are really interested here in the produce in the produced hole then the operation is known as punching operation or piercing operation please this is simple definition of the punching and or the piercing then what is blanking it's the second definition will be the blanking so if in the sheet metal working or in the sheet metal operation if produced a blank or produced a slug or produced a disc is useful for us we are not interested in the hole which is produced in the plate or sheet then the process is known as the blanking operation or the operation is the blanking operation so here the produced produced blank or you can say slug or you can say disc any word you can use the produced blank is is full one in the operation then that operation is known as the blanking operation please remember very simple definitions if the produced hole is is full one it is a punching operation produced blank is is full one it is known as the blanking operation okay now so in this punching and blanking operation the very important thing is that the clearance the important thing is what the clearance so in punching operation definitely the, there should be the clearance on the punch and clearance on the die but in which operation where to provide the clearance it is very important so see in punching operation the clearance is provided on provided on the die whereas the punch is or punch size is exactly made equal to the hole size please remember this okay in punching operation the clearance is provided on the die whereas the punch is made to the exact size of the hole okay so how much the size of the die we can write here the die size will be how much the punch size plus the clearance okay please remember and if this is the radial clearance okay then it should be say clearance is indicating by c then punch size plus two times clearance because it is a radial one we have to provide from the both side okay so it will be here also and it will be here also 
सो सी प्लस सी टू सी ओके सो ऑलवेज प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस डाई साइज डाई साइज इन एनी ऑफ द ऑपरेशन यू टेक द पंचिंग और ब्लैंकिंग ऑपरेशन द डाई इज ऑलवेज द मोर इन साइज than the punch size it is a female part this is punch is the male part please remember this okay so die size here what you get the die size as punch size plus 2 times clearance whereas the punch size is equal to hole size now if you talk about the blanking operation in blanking operation again the clearance clearance is provided on the punch and die size equal to the blank size the blank size okay so how we can write for this so die size is now equal to blank size suppose in the blanking operation i need a, a blank size of say 40 mm so 40 mm millimeter will be the size of this die then what is the size of the punch then punch size is equal to this die size minus 2 times clearance see this is die size from the die size you get the clearance uh, minus the clearance you will get the size of the punch in the blanking operation okay so this is the clearance we will talk about this clearance in the mechanics of uh, this sheet metal operation then you come to know how this clearance is set how the clearance is important and how this plays a very important role in the cutting action okay so we will see it uh, in next videos but please remember these are very important formulas many times numericals for two mark one mark is asked based on this punch size calculation and die size calculation in either punching operation or in the blanking operation <clears throat> now next the force calculation the force calculation okay so in punching operation c this is our sheet and this is the die this punch is going to apply the force okay and because of that force the material is going to shear or the sheet is going to shear and we are getting the required the hole or the disc so this f this force is generally taken as this f max okay now this force maximum this maximum force in this sheet metal operation how to calculate this is calculated as the sheared area the sheared area into shear strength into shear strength of kiski shear strength is material ki jo sheet hai aapki uski shear strength so this shear area if i write it as as and the shear strength if i denote it as tau then the shear area as into shear strength in newton this is the maximum force in the sheet metal operation okay now see here what is this shear area how to calculate the shear area so if you look at here so this is the plate and in this plate of say thickness of the plate is t okay and you are going to produce this hole into this given sheet or plate isn't it now what is the shear area if this is a punch shearing this uh, plate okay this applying the force so the shear area will be how much this perimeter of the hole into the thickness of the sheet isn't it that is the shear area will be perimeter into thickness 
isn't it this perimeter into thickness is nothing but the shared area so say example here we are taking of a circular hole there may be the square hole there may be the rectangular hole there may be the any kind of shape that you are going to punch with the available uh, punch cross section at the bottom you can make square hole also you can make rectangular hole any kind of hole so based upon that we can choose here the perimeter and thickness is given to you so in case of this circular hole what will be the perimeter this is pi times say d is the diameter of the hole that is produced so pi d is the perimeter into thickness isn't it so f max will be what the shared area is done perimeter into thickness into tau into tau s or shear strength of the material you will get the force maximum in this uh, punching or blanking or sheet metal operation as pi d t into tau s say for example the square hole of size a is there that you are going to produce here you are you want here the square hole or rectangular like this says the size of the hole is or square hole is a then the perimeter will be four times a isn't it if this is a rectangle of say one side a another side b then the perimeter will be 2a plus 2b okay like that you can have the perimeter here into thickness multiplied by shear strength of the material it is called it as the maximum force please remember that it is not necessary that every time i can write here shear strength sometimes i can also write the tensile strength of the material see there is not only the shear force into the press that it has to overcome there are many forces so sometimes it is given only the tensile strength then it is okay okay the shear is not only please remember write a note there the shear is not only the force that the press has to overcome okay press means whatever this punch and die combination we are using for doing this sheet metal operation in totality in totality this operation is nothing but or this working is nothing but the press working usko kya bolte press working bolte so we are having the presses we are having hydraulic presses pneumatic presses okay which is uh, having the base plate then the die block then the, uh, the stripper the, on that we are putting the plate then again we are having the for the sub same thing for the punch holding plate okay so all these <coughs> combinations and in totality this known as the press okay so press working also so understood how to calculate the maximum force in the sheet metal operation that is pi dt into tau s so in the mechanics of the sheet metal so of course we are going to take the punch and die combination and we know that the punch and die shape is same as that of the shape you are going to uh, get or you require that shape in that shape we are having the punch and dies and we also know that the punch is always lesser in size than the die okay now let us see this is my punch and die combination this is my punch and this is the sheet little bit bigger one i am drawing for the sake of understanding only okay so this punch is going to apply the force okay that is f max we know that this is the sheet and this is the die okay now see here when the force is applied by the punch on the top face of the sheet okay so what will happen here say you can imagine the punch is coming down okay and it is now striking on the top face of this sheet what will happen so definitely the top portion of the sheet is going to experience the elastic compression isn't it whereas if i talk about the bottom portion of the sheet is going to experience the elastic elongation 
elastic elongation but please note that the elastic the amount of this elastic elongation elastic elongation and elastic compression is not the same then what this elastic compression is always greater than the elastic elongation please remember so when the force is applied by the punch on the top face of the sheet the top portion of the sheet is going to have the elastic compression whereas the bottom portion of the sheet will elongate elastically but the amount of of these two are not same because the compression is always elastic compression is greater than the elastic elongation see in a single material if you are having these two kinds of elongation one is compressive one is tensile okay isn't it elongation is tension compression compressive force okay so because of that the material is experiencing the shear stresses in the same material one side is compressing another side is elongating then definitely the body that material will feel the shear stresses so yeah yahan pe aake nahi ruka then what will happen next see now again when the punch travel into the thickness of the sheet okay so again when the punch is traveling to the thickness of the sheet say punch now at this position so what have to happen again this amount of the elastic compression is going to decrease increase and also the the elongation is also going to increase but at the same time now the elastic compression is much more than the elastic elongation that is the difference between these two is go on increasing and there will be a, at some point or at some uh, time in the process what happen the shear stress that has been produced because of this difference between these two will cross the value of the ultimate shear strength of the material okay because of this huge difference between this compression and elongation now material is realizing such a huge shear stresses that it has gone beyond the ultimate shear strength of the material so what will happen if the induced stresses if in this sheet are goes beyond the ultimate shear strength of this sheet material so definitely the cracking is going to happen okay kahan pe crack hoga so at the edges of the punch okay so at say some time that punch is traveling into this sheet and at that time the stresses induced goes beyond the sigma induced greater than the sigma ultimate okay or here the shear strength we are talking about shear stress induced greater than ultimate shear strength of the material what happen the crack is going to produce at the edge of the punch or at the edge of the die okay so here these cracks are going to produce or you can say at the corner of the punch and at the corner of the die the cracks start so this cracking is nothing but the shearing kya bolte hai isko this cracking is nothing but the shearing okay now these cracks see now these cracks these cracks are nothing but the energy propagating uh, waves and definitely it will flow into the body or it will propagate into the respective directions okay that when these cracks are propagating in a respective direction into this thickness or into this sheet material this is nothing but the tearing okay so crack kaha pe produce hua at the corner of the punch and at the corner of the die now this crack is going to propagate into the material like the energy wave so this is nothing but tearing kya bolte hai isko tearing and see when these two tears एक आया है पंच के कॉर्नर से एक आया है डाइक कॉर्नर से इज इट वेन दीज टू क्रैक्स और दीज टू टीयर्स 
meet each other in between the middle portion of the sheet say here this crack is going to meet somewhere here into the sheet thickness then the slug or this blank is going to separate from this sheet okay and this is nothing but our cutting action okay so this mechanism of the sheet metal operation can be well explained by means of what the shearing and tearing very important the shearing and tearing is the mechanics of the sheet metal operation i hope it is clear see now as one thing you can understand that to do the work in the operation okay because definitely punch is doing some work so what is work done that is force applied into the distance traveled now see here so where this crack is started into the sheet metal thickness it is not the entire thickness we have taken into account but once the punch has traveled into certain fraction of thickness into the sheet material the crack has started okay so for doing the work the punch is not doing the work starting from this top portion and up to the bottom portion of the sheet but kaha tak only where the cutting is going to happen or crack is going to produce till that distance only the punch is doing the work another thing is that punch is because of the force simply coming into the die and after completion of work it is go back to its original position so this penetration is very much important how much distance that punch has penetrated into the thickness of the given sheet material to cause the cracking at the corner of the punch and at the corner of the die or the edges of the punch and the edges of the die that is important and this is nothing but our k It, that is penetration please remember many times this penetration is what is the fraction of the thickness see this is the total thickness and the fraction of the thickness up to which the punch is moved in and cracking is started at the corner of the punch and corner of the die so that is very important so anybody ask you to cal calculate what is the work done in this operation so what is work done that is maximum force f max which is given by the punch on the die uh, on the sheet into distance how much distance it is traveled distance punch ne kitna distance travel kiya sheet ke andar this f max into fraction of thickness how much fraction that is penetration isn't it this is k times thickness this is the work done in the punching operation please remember this this is the actually work done in the sheet metal operation rather i can say so mechanism is clear that is shearing and tearing tearing is the mechanism for the sheet metal operation now whether you can think it can be possible that the cracks which have produced from the these corners of punch and die are meeting every time okay so it is possible that these cracks are somewhere in the middle of the sheet that going to meet every time it is it is going to happen like that so it is not like that so who is the person ye kon hai ki in cracks ko somewhere in the middle of the sheet milata hai okay so that is the thing so to have this exact meeting of these cracks which are coming from the die edge and the punch edge is meeting there because of only the clearance and not only clearance because of the optimum clearance dear students the clearance yahi banda hai jo in cracks ko kya karta hai ek dusre ke sath somewhere in the middle of the sheet thickness 
मिलाता है एंड दैट इज वाई द एग्जैक्ट कटिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन राइट एग्जैक्ट शेयरिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन एंड वी आर गेटिंग दी सेपरेट शीट और सेपरेट ब्लैंक और होल वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट सो सो द थिंग इज दैट फ्रॉम दी डिस्कशन वी कैन हैव द ऑप्टिमम क्लियरेंस इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट ऑप्टिमम क्लियरेंस Why this optimum clearance is required? To meet the cracks, to meet the cracks from the punch and die. This optimum clearance is very much important. And how to give this optimum clearance? This C optimum is actually this is the empirical relation is given as it zero point zero zero three two times thickness into under root shear strength of the material. which is of course please remember this is the radial clearance if you want the angular or diametral clearance you can multiply by 2 that will be 0.0064 times thickness of the sheet t is what the thickness of the sheet and tau is what the shear strength of this sheet material that's very important this optimum clearance only meeting these two cracks and that is why we are getting this operation done otherwise what will happen so we can take the further discussion for what happen if the clearance provided in this sheet metal working is not the optimum suppose ek condition ye ho sakti hai ki optimum clearance se maine jo clearance provide kiya operation mein it is less than the optimum clearance and other another thing is what the clearance which is provided in the operation may be greater than the optimum clearance so let us see what will happen let's let us see let us see the two cases where the first case we can take it as the provided clearance c is less than the c optimum is less than the c optimum what is going to happen here so see this is the punch and this is the sheet and you have given with very optimum se bhi aapne kya kiya bahut hi kam clearance diya so definitely what will happen the cracks which are coming from the edge of the punch and cracks coming from the say edge of the die isn't it whether they are going to meet okay of course i have to take little bit at lower side say this is the punch okay and i will increase the thickness of sheet so that you can see okay so whether these two cracks are going to meet when the clearance provided is less than the optimum clearance no isn't it so definitely this shear or crack will penetrate uh, propagating somewhere here in the sheet and this will here okay see cracks are nothing but what these are the energy propagating waves which are propagating into the material like a wave now see here what is going to happen whether you are going to get the exact size of the hole or the exact size of the blank from this condition definitely no then what you are going to get now to see what is happening with the sheet you can see it over here on the punch and from the top of the punch see what you can uh, get here with the sheet so definitely there will be the cracking of sheet or uh, the sheet get cut into more than one pieces isn't it so how many pieces that you are going to get imagine and try to see from the top portion of the punch so what you can observe here so so this is the first piece that you are going to get here okay because of this cutting ye is disc form mein bahar aayega isn't it second that you are going to get this the one cutting ring like this isn't it if you look from the top and the third that is the left over portion of the sheet isn't it ek disc niklegi ek ye ring niklegi isn't it and this is the first this is second and this is third so if now if the clearance provided in the sheet metal operation less than the optimum clearance there will not be the 
exact or required cuttings of the hole or the blacks to the required sites but what will happen there the sheet will get break into or get cut into three pieces how many pieces three pieces that is the thing now let us see take the second condition what is the second case or condition kya hoga when this clearance provided is greater than the optimum clearance so what you can get here say this is the punch and i am providing the clearance than maximum than the optimum clearance so what happened here so dear students in case of this provided clearance is much more than the optimum clearance see there you are not going to get any kind of cutting action so what will happen here here seedha punch aayega aur sheet ko leke kaha ghus jayega dai ke andar jayega the punch will take the sheet and simply the sheet get pulled into the die okay there will not be any cutting operation this is a kind of deep drawing operation jaisa kuch hoga isn't it but definitely there will not be the cutting action if there is excess clearance than the optimum definitely this sheet is going to get pulled by this punch into the die okay ye seedha niche pull hoga no cutting it is like deforming okay so this can be the results we can get when we are not providing the clearance equal to the optimum clearance please remember and optimum clearance kaise dete hai c is equal to 0.0032 times thickness times under root of shear strength of the material in millimeter in bracket it's a radial clearance so hope this is clear to you the mechanics of sheet metal operation of course shearing and tearing shearing pehle hota hai shearing pehle hota hai baad mein tearing hota hai pehle tearing nahi shearing and then tearing okay and you can see here in the importance of provision of clearance in the sheet metal operation okay thank you